How safe is EV toll technology after the vertical aerospace crash? What can we learn from this accident to make flying safer? How are companies working to solve safety issues in city air travel? Stay with us as we look at what this crash means and the steps being taken to keep EVTOL aircraft safe and reliable. Welcome to our exploration of the future of flying. Imagine this, it's August 9th, 2023. Vertical Aerospace, a UK-based EV towel company, is testing their VX4 prototype at Cotswold Airport. This sleek aircraft, designed to carry four passengers, had already shown off some impressive numbers, hitting 40 knots or 43.5 miles per hour in earlier tests and outperforming its targets for hover and low-speed flight by 10 to 30 percent. Hovering, often one of the trickiest parts of VTOL, or vertical takeoff and landing flights, was especially a highlight. Everything seemed on track. But during a test designed to push the VX4 beyond its usual limits, things took a turn for the worse. The aircraft entered a controlled descent and then crashed. Fortunately, no one was hurt since it was being flown remotely. But what caused the accident? Turns out, the root of the problem was a small but critical issue with one of the propellers. A bonding failure between the sheath and the spar, two key parts of the blade, triggered a chain of problems. This caused the propeller to become unbalanced, leading to the structural failure of the right inboard pylon, damage to wiring harnesses, and two motors losing thrust. An official report from the Air Accidents Investigation Branch, AAIB, released in May 2024, confirmed these findings. It explained that the faulty propeller created massive out-of-balance loads, which caused the right inboard pylon to fail and damaged important wiring. Although the aircraft managed to stay level, the loss of vertical thrust meant it hit the ground hard, sustaining heavy damage. In response, Vertical Aerospace acted quickly and transparently. Within two weeks of the crash, they submitted a report to the AAIB outlining 36 improvements they plan to make. A major change? Redesigning the faulty propeller blade to remove the adhesive bond altogether. This new design had already been introduced before the crash and will be used in future prototypes. The company also admitted they needed to tighten up their manufacturing controls, quality checks, and verification processes to avoid similar issues moving forward. So, does the vertical aerospace crash signal deeper issues within the EVT oil industry? Or is it just part of the growing pains that come with any new technology? The truth is, aviation has always been high stakes, and EVT oil, mixing advanced tech with challenging environments, is no different. Accident data for EV tolls is still sparse, but the VX4 crash sheds light on a key takeaway. Testing matters. Even flights that push aircraft beyond their typical limits are essential. They help engineers pinpoint weak spots, enhance designs, and fine-tune safety protocols. The EV toll industry is just getting started with big players like Joby Aviation and Archer Aviation in the US, Lilium and Volocopter in Germany, and Autoflight in China all chasing a slice of the projected $1 trillion market by 2040. Whether minor incidents or major accidents, every mishap offers lessons to push the tech forward and ensure EV tolls become a safe, reliable way to travel. Remember that Vertical Aerospace VX4 prototype crash back in August 2023? It was a wake-up call about how tricky it is to create a whole new way to fly. But instead of panicking, Vertical Aerospace got serious about safety and showed everyone they're all about transparency. They didn't waste any time, they built a second VX4 prototype, 70% new components compared to the previous model, including those redesigned propeller blades we talked about. They even threw in a new battery for better performance and safety. But wait, there's more. They're even putting an ejection seat in the new prototype. It's not something you see every day in these types of aircraft, but it shows they're serious about keeping their pilots safe during these risky test flights. Now, about those tests. They've been putting their current prototype through the ringer with a tough flight test program. Here's the rundown. Piloted tethered flight. They're flying the aircraft with ropes to keep it safe while they test stability and control. They even intentionally messed up one of the electric propulsion units to see how the aircraft would handle it. Ground Vibration Testing GVT. Imagine shaking the aircraft with eight giant shakers while it's covered in 350 sensors. 
That's what they did to simulate turbulence and other stresses. Powertrain Testing They're checking every bit of the power system, even doing a high-voltage HV ripple test to make sure the battery can handle voltage spikes and keep the power flowing smoothly. Dynamic Testing Before it ever leaves the ground, they're testing every system, making sure everything is hooked up right and working as it should. Propeller Testing each propeller blade is carefully balanced and spun to make sure it's perfectly smooth for a stable flight. Taxi testing. They're driving the VX4 around like a car at different speeds, even slamming on the brakes and testing what happens if an EPU fails at high speed. They've already done 20 test flights with a human pilot and 70 individual tests, collecting a whopping 35,000 pieces of data. This helps them make sure the aircraft is safe and performing well. Vertical Aerospace is also playing by the rules. They're working closely with the UK Civil Aviation Authority to get permission for more advanced flight tests with a pilot actually controlling the aircraft in the air. The Vertical Aerospace crash also highlights some of the big safety challenges the EV tall industry faces. Flying these aircraft in busy cities, often at low altitudes, isn't easy. There are serious risks involved, like managing airspace, training pilots, and making sure people feel comfortable with the idea of flying taxis overhead. In 2023, the Royal Aeronautical Society released a report called, Will the Aerial Taxis of the Future Be Safe? It suggested that staying ahead of safety risks is key. The report looked at fictional accident scenarios that could realistically happen and stressed how important it is to learn from past aviation incidents while being ready for the new risks that come with EV toll flights. One of the biggest challenges is figuring out how to fit EV tolls into current airspace. Their flight paths and low operating altitudes are different from regular aircraft, so new air traffic management systems and clear communication rules will be necessary to avoid collisions and keep things safe. The EV tall industry is at a crucial moment. Urban air mobility could transform travel, but the risks are very real. A well-rounded approach is needed to make sure these aircraft fit smoothly into the skies. It'll take teamwork, manufacturers, regulators, and airspace managers need to work together. Sharing data, setting common standards, and solving problems as a team will help create a solid safety culture. On the tech side, advances in batteries, autonomous flying systems, and detect and avoid technology will make a huge difference in reducing risks. As these technologies get better, so will the ability to prevent accidents and ensure safe flights. But most importantly, the industry has to stay sharp. Learning from past incidents, spotting potential issues early, and constantly updating safety procedures will be non-negotiable. The journey towards safe and reliable urban air mobility won't be easy. But with collaboration, innovation, and a laser focus on safety, EV tolls can deliver on the promise of transforming the way we travel. What are your thoughts on the safety of EV TOL technology after the vertical aerospace crash? Do you think the industry is ready for urban air mobility? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, you won't want to miss our related video. The untold story of EV tall certification delays, are we really ready? Discover the challenges behind getting these innovative aircraft certified for flight.